Hey guys, and before I get into this video, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I suggest you do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you, remember. And also, one more thing before we get into this. I, unfortunately, in the last Super Hero Squad Battle Tournament video, unfortunately, a malfunction happened with the camera, and I was not able to record at the end of the video the next fighters for the next battle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick right now, since it didn't happen in the last video. So we're going to reveal the next two fighters that are in this battle right now before I begin it. With a little bit of texture from the previous battle on who won, in case you didn't see the last episode. Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Super Hill Squad Battle Tournament! We are now at Battle 24. And this will be kind of a bit of an interesting and unusual one, but it shall be good, hopefully just as much as any other battle has been. We got two heroes in different forms, but it's still the same exact character, but which version of that character will win because it's a certain version of a certain character, and we're going to find out which version and which of that hero is going to win and move on into round three. Will it be none other than the Anti-Surfer? An alternate anti-version of the Silver Surfer. Or Feral Wolverine. Just like the real Wolverine, except he's feral, unmasked, and has his costume ripped a bit. Shades of this game, pretty much, basically, is what Feral Wolverine's about. And pretty much is almost more aggressive as well. I am your host, Joe Flash 7 and normally it is my job to analyze the characters' armors, weapons, and skills to find out who wins the battle, but you already know what these characters are capable of, if, as you may have already seen previous episodes in the past, so without further ado, it's no introduction, there is no need to go through anything about them, no analyzement. You all want to see the battle, so it's time to get into it. It's time for a Super Hill Squad Battle! Same as usual, the first character to get 10 points will win.
well, we definitely witnessed, I guess you could say, once for the ages. Even though I guess there's plenty of other battles that have been seen once in the ages, but never mind! Despite Feral Wolverine having such powerful attacks, and definitely his rage really definitely gave him some pretty good amount of strength to be able to have plenty of opportunity to take out the Anti-Surfer. But unfortunately, the Anti-Surfer had plenty of other opportunities to be able to take out Feral Wolverine. Once the Anti-Surfer started going airborne, it stood very little chance for Feral Wolverine to even be able to catch him off the air and to be able to bring him back down for a good combo. Sure, that spinning move and the sure the two versions of the spin move definitely gave Feral Wolverine some plenty of damage, and he did look like from the start he was at the good lead. But once the Anti-Surfer, as I mentioned, went airborne and started doing some pretty powerful combos, including one using his board width and using the projectiles, there was hardly any chance for Wolverine to be able to stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Anti-Surfer. Anti-Surfer definitely had plenty of opportunities to be able to overcome Fair Wolverine in many obstacles, flight, and so much more. And plus, Anti-Surfer definitely has had far more better arsenals than the Fair Wolverine. His main weapons has always been his claws, and even though he would have been probably been able to have plenty of opportunities to take down the Anti-Surfer, since he is one of the most powerful characters in this game, Unfortunately, it doesn't always make things better. The flight was just pretty much the only thing that was able to allow Anti-Surfer to get the victory. Plus, with a few of his striking abilities like his projectiles and even using a combo with his board, there was hardly anything left for Fail Wolverine to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against. Fail Wolverine definitely may have been a bit of, in some rights, a more fan favorite, but it looks like the Anti-Surfer was able to surpass Fail Wolverine and finally calm down his anger and put him back in his place in the jungle. I guess it looks like Feral Wolverine just isn't as feral as he thought he was. Time to channel that anger down and as you already said, go back to the jungle with all the other animals and be a good Wolverine as you should be. The winner is Anti-Surfer. And do not go away just yet, we're about to reveal the next fighters for the next episode, so stay tuned ladies and gentlemen. Next time on Super Heel Squad Battle Tournament.